What's up everybody? Sky Spider here, better known as Jade Skywalker. Um, I have something really fun on camera today. Um, I just received a package from my old friend Kelly Swift of two very, very deadly uh, scorpions. Uh, we've got two Androctonus in here, which are the fat tail scorpions that are really, really, really risky to work with. I want to make this very clear before I start anything here that these animals are deadly, they will kill you. Um, if you don't have the proper experience to be working with them, do not get them. Please do not get these. Um, my channel is a place where you can come and you can watch these kind of animals and they're being kept by someone that is experienced and knows what they're doing. Um, I'd honestly recommend five to ten years of experience keeping aggressive scorpions uh, before you move into the hot ones. Um, I mean, I went in with about, uh, about 15 years experience before I got them. Um, a lot of that was convincing my other half I could keep them safely. Uh, they are no joke and you really need to have a lot of safety measures in place to make sure they're not going to get out and you're not going to get stung while working with them. So as you can see on my table right here, um, I've got the box. I've got the uh, containers I'm putting them into all properly prepared. I have a utility knife, two pairs of my favorite type of tweezer, paintbrush with a really long handle, just in case I've got my micro tweezers here as well. But I'm missing something. One very important thing here. An extra bin. Scorpions can't climb smooth surfaces. So we put down an extra bin like this. So in the off chance that they do get away from me and I drop them or something like that, they're going to drop into this bin and not on the table or on the floor where they could get away from me and I could lose track of them. And then we'd have even bigger problems. So this is safety measure number one. Safety measure number two is we're going to treat this box like they escaped from their vials in transit. It's pretty unlikely. I've been dealing with Kelly forever and I know he knows the proper way to pack stuff like this. But uh, shit happens. So you always want to be as safe as you can when working with animals like this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the box open, but you're going to see I'm not going to be using my fingers on the box where I can. This takes a little practice to, to get halfway decent at. Not to mention I don't exactly have a fully functional right hand, which definitely adds to the difficulty level. Okay, I'm going to say fuck the box opening because my hands are not cooperating today. Oh, the many joys of being disabled. A whole bunch of little compromises. As you can see, I'm keeping my fingers away from the edges that I've already cut open. Now, next thing I want to get out is my black-white flashlight. As uh, most of you know, Scorpions do phosphoresce under black light. So this will make it a lot easier to see them if they have escaped. Again, I highly doubt they have. But I don't want to uh, die in horrible, agonizing pain from one of my pets. Check the bottom. Okay, this is safe. Got a little letter in here from Kelly. Just get these out for the uh, the camera. So Swift's inverts. Most of you guys in the hobby know about him already, but just in case you don't, highly recommend him. Uh, he may not always have a diverse stock, but uh, if he can get it, he will get it. And he's one of the nicest people I've ever worked with uh, in regards to uh, the spider hobby. 
So let's see what he put on here. Got Androctonus Bicolor, Androctonus Crassicata. Oh, he sent me two uh, Crassicottas. Cool, I got an extra one as a freebie. Oh, now I gotta set up an extra enclosure. Okay, so while this is safe, this isn't going anywhere, and they can't reach the edges of the bin, again, just assuming, uh, let me jump into my extra enclosure closet. Find myself an extra bin. Sorry, this is terrible camera stuff, but... Fortunately, I couldn't plan for this one. I didn't know I was getting a freebie. Should have assumed I was, but I wouldn't have known what it was. Uh, crap. Oh, I do have one left. Yay. All right, I got a container. Sorry, I'm going to be doing this on camera all summer, I think. Um, if I get active in a warm room, my nose just runs like crazy. Okay, so this one's already mostly clean. Enough that I'm satisfied. Let's move this off camera for a moment. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So yeah, it's got a little dirt in the bottom. It's fine, I don't care that much. But I'm using Exoterra's Desert Stone. Found out about that substrate from uh, Dion over on Reptiliatus. And as you can see, this looks just like their natural habitat in the wild. Um, I'm really fond of this stuff now that I've got some. So that's all I need to do for a setup for these guys. I'm keeping the uh, the air holes on these. They only have them on the two sides. I'm keeping them away from this opening. So on the off chance that they do ever reach these, uh, they can't use them to get a foothold to get to this opening and squeeze out. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, I'll have to print labels after I'm done here, but uh, it doesn't matter if I tip it a little. Uh, as you can see, I've already got their names on here. This is the uh, Crassicotta. She's going to be named after Damia in Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's got the uh, little skull and crossbones symbols all over it for Dangerous Venom. Deadly, defensive. And then this is something I'm trying now. Um, hopefully I'll never need these. But in the off chance I do get stung by one of these deadly animals, I've got these little medical tags. And... I've only half attached them here. You can see it kind of peels up on the edges. Uh, this lists what happened. It's a sting by a scorpion, Androctonus species. It's got the skull and crossbones here as well. So it says that it's deadly and it has the treatment, which is antivenom, vasopressors, and sedation. Um, antivenom is probably not available in the US. Um, these aren't native here, so there's no reason for it. Um, so pretty much I have to hope if I ever do get stung, I can peel that off, stick it to me in case I'm unconscious when paramedics arrive. But I really hope the other forms of treatment are enough. Uh, so that, uh, I won't die. So yeah, again, something I make with the hope of never having to use it. Okay, I think I'm, yeah, just in case I'm gonna leave the knife out. Let's get back to unpacking here. I'm really glad Kelly included that packing list so I was prepared. I doubt there's going to be a heat pack in here. It was nice and warm on the trip. Again, I'm just inspecting. Uh, since I haven't checked in every single fold, I'm going to leave that inside here for the time being. Thankfully the scorpions I ordered are black, so they'll show up really, really well on this white paper.
Okay, this is not going as well as I would like. Okay, get those away from the edges. I think we're good in here. Just a quick inspection. Okay, I am very convinced they have not crawled out of their containers. I do not know if that's one of Kelly's hairs or one of mine. Looks purple. Must be mine. Okay, and again, we inspect. Inspection looks safe. And I know I got out the uh, the black light flashlight, but thankfully I didn't need it. So they were double sealed, which is good. Probably going to be triple sealed by the time I get in here. Yep, they're all still sealed in the box. So now it's safe to reach in with my fingers. Oh, it looks like each one is multiple boxed. Beautiful. Seriously, Kelly, A plus packing. This is outstanding. So yeah, each one of these is in its own deli cup, as you can see. And then each deli cup is inside of its own container. So he sent these containers I can actually keep them in, but I prefer with these kind of scorpions to keep them in slightly taller things, just so there's absolutely no chance it gets out. Again, it sounds like paranoia when I keep saying it like this, but these are animals you just can't afford to take chances with. Okay. So I can actually see the scorpions in their cups now. They are nice and teeny little guys. I'm actually more excited about the bicolor. Um, I think that is the more toxic of the two um, and has the, the larger tail to it. The uh, other one is just a really pretty black scorpion, but also extremely toxic. Okay, this one, I can't see where the scorpion is. Which means I'm getting out my black light to look. Not seeing any iridescent coming from anywhere in the box. So that one's got me a little concerned. Like again, it's definitely still in there, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave those inside the unpacking container. So we're gonna do the one I'm concerned about first and get it out of the way. Okay, this one's the label for the Casacaldus. I'm just cracking the lid with my fingers here. I'm actually going to pull it off with tweezers. And again, I'm doing this with a hand that doesn't really work that well. Um, I've only got about 30% use of my, my right hand, my dominant hand. So uh, if I can take these safety measures with only what I've got, it, Anyone with normal working hands can handle this. Okay, let's pick up that container. Also, these are taped shut. Again, A plus on the packing. Uh, he sent some micro crickets to... Uh, it doesn't look like they made the trip very well, but I always miss his little just-in-case labels on these. Yeah, I've got plenty of feeders, so these will probably just go to my assassins who are super picky. Or we can actually try to feed these on camera after I unpack them. Um, again, we're checking through the paper towels. Make sure to unfold these. Because 
I do not want to take chances. How embarrassing would it be to order something like this and then die on fucking camera while unpacking it? Like how bad of a keeper would I have to be for that? Like everyone joked that Steve Irwin was going to be killed by a uh, uh, crocodile and then he went to a uh, stingray. So what are the chances everyone thinks I'm going to get killed by a, some toxic spider that I'm working with and then I get killed by a scorpion. Kind of my, not my main interest. Oh, this is next to impossible to do with tweezers. Okay, all I did was pop the edge. I didn't do anything that would get my fingers to the opening. Oop. Okay, I see the scorpion. That is a very useful thing, because now I know my fingers are safe. Okay, that is the most I'm going to touch any of those cups. And I'm just going to use the uh, the tail method to move them. Okay, so we still see the scorpion there, so this is safe. Actually, I might even not even have to use the tail method because I can just set it in here. Oh, you're so chonky! Hello, little angry one. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh my god. So that is Androctonus crassicata. Do you want to go down a little bit so we can see you better? There you go. You run around and be all badass with yourself. So there, that's one unpacked. And again, remember we keep the air holes off to the sides. So yeah, there's one. I'm gonna go set this off to the sides so it's out of the way. I'm gonna hang out with these as water dishes or catch cups for small things. Never know when you're gonna need those. Okay, next. Got another one that we know where it is. It's a big plus. Let's get the tape off of here. I'm also making sure my fingers don't touch where the scorpion is. I don't think they can poke through the plastic, but I'd rather not find out they can the hard way. Okay, this is also a crassicata. There's a lot of tape on that one. Okay, so this is going in my unlabeled container. Should have lifted the camera back up. Sorry about that. Okay, first things first, we're going to crack the edge. And we're going to get this lid off. You see this one's right up top. So I think this one I'm going to try and pick up by the tail. And this is where things get tricky. Like, I can use my right hand, but I sometimes have tremors, which cause my muscles to fire. And I have no control or any idea when those are going to happen. Or I can use my left hand, which is my non-dominant and clumsy as hell. So I'm just going to hope for no tremor here. Because I don't want to hurt this little guy. And this is why we use the extra container. Because shit like that can happen. But there we go. Another Androctonus crassicota. Neatly ushered into its new home. God, they are cute little fuckers when they're this little. Okay. 
Okay, two down. One to go. Nose still running. Whew. I know that is horribly gross on camera. I apologize. I hate that I have to do it, but it's better than just letting it drip down my face. I don't think I'm going to find anything in here, but I've had one vendor accidentally put two spiders in the same vial once. Considering I can see the other one, that's why I'm not too concerned. But let's cover my bases because I'm trying to be a good example. Okay. All clear. We're on to the last one. The one I'm the most excited about. Again, I'm checking paper towels. And I'm also forgetting to move the camera back up. Okay, these are all clear. Okay, next step is getting that tape off. Again, watching where the scorpion is. Looks like this one might I'm still really bad at this. This might be a boy. I am not sure. Still learning how to sex scorpions. And this tape is not coming off. I think it's doubled over itself too many times here. Again, watch your fingers. Mostly telling myself that. Okay, that should be the last I need the knife. Double check my label here and drop it in a spy color. This one's right up on the lid, which is why I'm going to try and do this with tweezers if I can. But again, this is really difficult to do. Okay, fuck it. Oh, and if you guys are curious, this one is going to be named Sidisi. Again, you know I love the Magic the Gathering names. For hot scorpions, I usually look for stuff with uh, death touch or infect. Because it just makes sense, right? In my very first one, my death stalker got to be uh, phage, the, uh, the most toxic thing in all of Magic the Gathering. Alright, I cannot do this with the tweezers. So this is going to be really shitty. Do not copy me. All I did was crack it a little better. And as you can see, we've got another potential escape over here. Yep, we are out of the cup. So again, this is why you use the extra box. All right, little one. Try not to hurt you here. Bloop. Yay, we got all three. Nice and safe. This one's a little harder to see than the other ones because it's a little more yellow when it's tiny. Hello. Hello. You are really cute. I love my, my deadly bugs. What can I say? Let me get this capped up. Now let me clean up here and we will make an effort to feed these little guys on camera. I just need to double check just to cover my bases. Okay, that one's good. And that one's good. So now I've already said it a bunch of times on here, but seriously, Kelly, A-plus packing job. 
These are not an easy thing to pack for people. These are not an easy thing to open once you receive them. Um, and just, you, you nailed it, dude. Um, it's the first time I've mail ordered animals like this. I normally buy them in person because I don't like unpacking them. Um, but this, this wasn't too bad. Um, going with the right person definitely made it work. Alrighty. So we're going to feed them on camera. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump these crickets into this open bin. Um, and then just pick them out of there to put in. Just because if I open it like this, they're just, they're going to come right out. They're crickets. It's what they do. As you guys know, I'm not a big cricket fan. I normally use uh, roaches for all my feeders. But um, scorpions do seem to like these better. Okay, I'm going to go in the same order I unpack them in because they've had longer to sit this way. And you can see the way I've got the uh, the animal in here, there's no way for it to reach the lid, which is the important part. Thankfully, scorpions can't climb uh, smooth surfaces. So this is one of the Crassicotta. Hopefully we're going to eat on camera here. There's a good chance they won't because they were just unpacked and a couple of them looked pretty fat. So we'll see. Oh yeah, it's not going to eat. If you'll get away from the cricket, I'll take it out of there. I just don't want you to be near it when I reach in with my tiny tweezers. Okay, it's going to get too close, so... This cricket's probably going to die to my big tweezers. Okay, so that one doesn't want to eat. I'm not too surprised. I just figured since I've already got the camera on, it would be worth trying. Okay, so here's the second Crassicotta. By the way, these Crassicottas are the uh, Israeli morph. Boop. Now this one looks a little thinner than the other two. So there's a chance it may take food. Let's see, we're rounding the corner, coming in in the right direction, kind of. Very smooth little cricket. You avoided the entire predator there. Like, I'd poke the cricket until it went in the right direction, but yeah, not with these. Like, I love my hot scorpions, but I also respect my hot scorpions. Just like I respect my hot spiders and my uh, centipedes, because all centipedes are hot, pretty much. Okay, here we go. Wow, I was not expecting it to just climb on the scorpion's back and walk away unharmed. So that is surprising. But again, I did say they probably won't eat for me. These guys are probably going to need to settle in for a week before I can feed them, I'm guessing. Go ahead and try the last one, just in case. And this is the uh, Androctonus bicolor. This one's a little more yellow at this size. It hasn't turned black yet. Bloop. Oh, the cricket's playing dead because I dropped it upside down. Can I do this? Alright, let's give it a chance to walk all the way around here. 
Uh, in case you can't see it easily, Scorpion's over in the corner there. Yeah, they do not like the uh, the black light. Believe it or not, the uh, UV radiation from like black lights and uh, the sun itself is actually kind of harmful to them. So while it's okay to use a black light to find them um, in their enclosure, uh, do not keep them under a black light 24-7. I can't count how many uh, rescue emperors I've taken in over the years that their owners just kept them under black light 24-7. Oh. Nope, just trundling past the cricket. Okay, we're not hungry. So we got no eaters today. Again, not a big deal. Once they settle in, I'm sure they're going to be great eaters, and we'll get them all on camera at that point. But yeah, not a bad unpacking today. Um, hopefully you guys like watching that, and uh, yeah, I'll just see you on the next video.